Hello, this is Joe Abinanti at the Valley Library Consortium. In this section, we'll show you how to do a filter. Filtering allows you to hide some of the data in the worksheet based on certain criteria. By hiding some of the data, you can highlight other data and show only that data. First thing you want to do is to be in the Data tab section. So click on Data. And the next thing is you'll want to highlight any cell on your worksheet and then go up to the little filter symbol, click on filter. And now each column is marked with a down arrow, meaning that you can filter on any of the data in those columns. Now let's just go back for a second to take the filtering off. Just click back on filter again. If you were highlighting a cell outside of the worksheet and clicked on filter, you'd get an error message command could not be completed. Select a single cell within the range. If you get that message, make sure you're within a cell within the, the worksheet data. So I'll go back up now, click on filter. Let's say we want to show only those items that are biographies. Click on the down arrow in that column, and then we'll go down to text filters, and there are a number of choices here. Let's try equals. Select equals. So now let's say we're going to just type in biographies and type it in, click OK. Nothing shows. When you do an exact match, you have to type in the terms exactly. So to go back to the original unfiltered data, just click on the filtering symbol and go down to clear filters from column B. Now we're back to where we were. So let's try that again. And as you can see, the heading is actually VLC biographies. So let's click again on the down arrow, go down to text filters, equals. And this time we'll type in VLC biographies. Hit OK. And now we have filtered out everything other than the VLC biographies information. Let's take that filtering off again. And now let's say there were other biographies within here. For example, if you go down, you can see there's a YA biographies. Well, we didn't pull that because we were specific on the exact term. We want all biographies, whether or not it's VLC or YA or whatever. Instead of doing an equals search, we're going to do a search that says contains. And now if we type in the word biographies, and again, if you type in biography, it's not going to work. It has to be what's appearing in your data. Click OK on biographies and now we've picked up the additional collections, Juve biographies and YA biographies. So let's clear that filter again from that column. And just to demonstrate one more time, let's do a text filter that says equals biography. Click OK, and nothing appears because there are no collections that contain the word biography. I won't demonstrate all of the choices you have under filtering. You have equals, does not equal. So let's do that one. Let's say does not equal. We will see biographies. And now that has disappeared in everything else other than VLC biographies. And we'll go back to text filters. Let's do a begins with. Let's do a VLC fic. Let's see what we bring up here. Now we bring up VLC fiction. Let's choose does not contain fiction. You can see we have eliminated all of the fiction categories. Take our filter off again. We can also filter the numeric columns as well. Let's click on column C and we'll click on number filters and again you have an equals, does not equal, greater than. Let's say we want to show everything that's greater than 1000. Click OK and there the collections that have served more than a thousand. And to take that filter back off, click on the filter symbol, clear filter, and we'll go back to number filters. This is an interesting one. If you go down to top 10, click on that, you can do a filtering listing just the top 10 in that column. And there they are, the top 10 by number of circs. Take that filter off, clear it again. Another interesting number filter is between. So if you're saying it's greater than or equal to 100 and less than or equal to 1,000, that's the range we want to filter. 
what we have here between those two numbers based on the column that we're filtering on. Let's clear that filter. We can go to this column and do that filter as well between 100 and 1000. Click OK. Now we have the information based on the filtering in column D. And to clear your filter, click on the down arrow, and to remove all filtering, go back up and click on the filter symbol again. And now we are no longer in the filter mode. And that concludes this section on auto filters.